Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, in this series of videos, we are working on uh, GitHub Labs for AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. All of the lab and the instructions are available in this link, which I'm going to provide in the video. In this last three videos, we are working on Lab 2, Manage Governance via Azure Policy. And what we have done, we have created and assigned tags for the Azure portal in our first video. We have enforced tagging using a policy and we have demonstrated once the policy is enforced, uh, is applied and assigned, you cannot create new resources in a resource group where we are saying that if you don't have the tag, do not create it. So what we had to do, we saw the problem, we went in there, we manually add, added the right tag to be able to deploy our storage accounts. In this lab, we're going to focus on task three, which is applying tagging for Azure policy. So say you want this rule and you don't want a manual verification of if this tag is available. So this policy will automatically take care of this problem. So whenever you're creating a new resource, it's going to have a new tag. So once again, remember your tag. If you apply a tag to a resource group, it does not automatically assign that tag to the resources within that group. Either you have to create a create a um, policy to be able to do it automatically at, at the deployment time or you have to go in there and create it manually and this one we're going to use it and accomplish that using a policy uh, at deployment time so let's go to task 3 where is my task 3 it's right here and we're going to follow the instru instruction as best as we can so again, in the Azure portal, we're going to go to the policy and we'll go to the assignment section. So let's go find our Azure environment, uh, go to home, look for policy. And under policy, we're going to go to the assignment section and let's see what we have. Uh, let's see, go back to instructions. We are done with two. In the list of assignments, uh, right click the ellipsis, ellipsis icon in the row representing the required role tag with infra value policy assignment and uh, use the delete assignment menu item to delete this assignment okay so they're saying just go ahead and delete this assignment so let's see if i can find a policy I think this is the one they require tag and value. Uh, I have created actually two different ones. So let's see if I can uh, category, let's uh, do it for tags. So require tag role tag with infra value, require tag role infra value policy and use the delete assignment menu to delete the assignment so th this one we want to delete so let's just delete this one so that step is now done from my assignment that policy is no longer assigned uh, what I'm gonna do I'm using a different resource group my resource group I'm probably end up going to use that resource group only so I'm also going to delete this resource group or this assignment from here And this one, I think I have already created, so I'm gonna delete this one for now as well. So this is another way you're learning how to delete an assignment if you do not have an assignment uh, available. So right now, I'm actually gonna delete all of them. All right, so right now nothing is really assignment. So if you go to assignments, nothing is assigned. I have deleted everything. Um, now click assign policy and sp and specify scope so now let's assign a new policy so assign university person assign policy you can do it from here or you can go to a definitions and do it that way as well for the lab is telling you to go to assignment pol assign policy so i'm just going to click here uh, scope it's saying subscription name of the subscription resource group 
uh, and it's saying that I uh, used the cloud cell account that, that I was using so uh, scope let's uh, go down to even resource group level so that's the resource group where we have the cloud shell and uh, how do you know that's the right cloud cell account uh, we have done this previously so you click on it and you open up your parcel account or parcel window once it's there you run the ds command the ds command should list something for the cloud drive and you look for that id so let's review that real quick uh, why my ds command is not working uh, df sorry <laughs> Uh, so df is the is the command that I uh, that I was looking for. So let's go back and do the df command. And as you see, this is the resource name of the storage account. Okay. Now we can go to this, and it's you can also see this is under the cloud drive. We can go to this resource and this resource uh, and find out the resource group. Okay. So. Uh, give me one second I got out of this group so we were working over here and uh, where we are we're here uh, so resource group so let's come back over here so resource group is this is the right resource group so now uh, you can select this so that's your resource group is now selected so now this is a granular the scope is much granular I don't have to exclude anything now uh, to specify the policy definition, inherit a tag from resource group if the resource group is missing. This is the policy that we want to assign. Uh, click on the ellipsis button over here and once you have that, uh, search, let's see if I can get that directly. Uh, if I, I put the whole uh, description in here in the search box, so this is the policy that we want. You click on it hit on select so everything is selected and this name is automatically uh, populated you can change the name so this is the name they want us to use okay let me review that one more time uh, configure the yeah so this is the assignment name we're going to change it from the default name to this big long name and uh, for description we're also going to use this big long description over here okay and we want to make sure that this is enabled not disable and once that's done uh, we're going to click on the parameters here we're going to say the uh, tag name is role is role and then on the remediation here I think we need to create a create a remediation task okay so create a remediation tag inherit a tag from the resource group if missing okay policy to remediate uh, this policy definition includes a modify effect okay and then uh, what you need to do you need to click review plus create and then create okay let's see if that's all that I needed to do okay review remediation I have all that review plus create and then create so now it is creating um, a remediation task creation succeeded so what it's gonna do inherit the role tag and its infra value from resource group so if you don't have any tag available it's going to look at the resource group and get the tag from the resource group and it will assign it to the role tag so now we have done up to this point and again it will azure is going to say this uh, may take some time to uh, for this policy to take effect uh, let me see yeah it's saying 5 to 15 minutes okay so navigate back to the blade of the resource group hosting the storage account uh, which you will identify in the, in, in the first tag and they're saying just go ahead and create another storage account in there okay 
Uh, so let's look at the assignments one more time. Okay, I just want to make sure this assignment is available and properly assigned. Uh, looks like it is, and it's a cat X category. So let's go back to home resource groups, and we have chosen uh, this cloud shell storage East US, and under here. So if I try to create a storage account, okay, and what we'll do, we'll not provide any tag. System no tag given okay so that's a, a valid unique identifier so that's all good so next uh, tags I'm not gonna go anything and I'll just say review and create and say create so if the policy is in effect it will automatically create the tag for me when the deployment is successful and that's what we're gonna verify it should shouldn't take too long should take only uh, less than a minute or so to deploy a storage account so we're just gonna wait for a second and uh, you can look in the notification bar about the deployment and what it's doing so here it, you know as things are happening uh, yeah it's, it's all done so it's telling go to your resource you can click it from here or there and and go to the resource so once you're in the resource, look at that. So this is the resource, no tax given storage account. And if you look at it, the tag has been automatically applied. And this tag is coming based on the policy. Okay. So let's go back. Um, verify this time validation passed. Once the new storage account is provisioned, uh, verify. Note the tag role with the infra has been automatically assigned. Okay, so that's really the end of this uh, uh, end of this video. Uh, clean up you should always do. Uh, so here, uh, search for the policy and go to assignment and delete assignment. So we have already done that. So let's let's do the exercise one more time. So if somebody asks you or if you get a lab in your exam where it's saying hey just go and delete the uh, assignment so you go to policy go back to policy go back to assignments and under assignments uh, you should see all the assignments and this is the assignment that I want to get rid of so I'll just click on it uh, it's the usually most you have this available a delete button but it's not in here so let's go back and uh, a lot of time if it's not there uh, you will have the ellipsis icon you click on it and you can delete it from there so delete so I'm going to delete this policy assignment uh, from my subscription so that's done in the portal search and select for the storage account so we created a whole bunch of storage accounts so again uh, you can just click on storage account or search for it then go there uh, so I think this is the only account that I had to begin with all three storage accounts that I created it created either the previous lab or in this lab so I'm going to delete those storage accounts as well uh, just type yes for confirmation and delete it so it's going to get rid of the two storage account that you do not need um, what else so we cleaned up our storage accounts in the list of storage accounts select the storage and type it yeah so that's okay that's the end of this lab so just to recap what we have done in the last three labs we have looked at the governance so from governance you can do a lot of things you can make sure people are deploying the right uh, VM right type of VM deploying to a right region if they're missing tag you can stop the deployment or you can add certain things if you're missing a vm extension you can possibly even install it um, so in the first lab we we demonstrate how to create uh, and assign tags via azure portal in the second video we have done enforcing tagging so if that policy is enforced you know deployment is possible when the tag is missing and in the third one we have done automatic tagging using the policy again using the remediation tab where 
if the tag is missing it will automatically assign a tag and you can still deploy your resources in that container in the resource group so that's the end of the video thank you for watching if you like it please give me a like and share it with friends uh, good luck with the exam thank you